in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you today, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. God, you didn't have to do it, but you did. But we thank you for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way, hallelujah, with new mercies, mercy we've never seen before. God, we want to say thank you, hallelujah. Lord, you said in your word, hallelujah, to pray for those who are in authority over us, God. And right now, God, we lift up the leaders of this nation, God. Oh, God, we pray that you would intervene, hallelujah. Let them know, God, apart from you, they can't do nothing, God. And we thank you today, God. We thank you for leaders today, God. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, God. We give you glory. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah, God. We just thank you for today, God. We thank you for this day of worship, God. We ask you to come in, God. Come in and sit down. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, have your way, God. Oh, God, it's not by might nor by power, but it's by your spirit. Hallelujah. And we just thank you. Hallelujah, God, for having your way, God. We thank you. Hallelujah, God, for moving in this house today, God. Come and sit on us today, God. Come and sit on us today, God. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not corner, God, but they are mighty through you to the pulling down of stronghold. And we pull down every stronghold, every stronghold that will try to sit on the service tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Come on, church, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. Casting down every vein uh, and wicked imagination, hallelujah, that will try to exalt itself against the knowledge of you, God. As we come to worship today, God, we ask you, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, God, uh, to penetrate our hearts, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, if there's anything in the way of our worship, God, you take it out of us today, God. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, God. Uh, oh, God, we come, God, uh, with our hearts, God, uh, our minds, God. Uh, Lord, God, hallelujah. Oh, God, our hearts and our minds, uh, hallelujah, on you, Jesus. Uh, every distracting spirit, uh, we call it out now in the name of Jesus, God. Uh, oh, God, put our minds and our hearts on you, God. Hallelujah, God. Let us lay aside every weight, uh, every sin that so easily beset us, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let us look unto the hills uh, which come with our help, God, uh, because all our help come from you, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, God, uh, every burdened heart today, God, uh, every burdened heart, hallelujah, every spirit of depression, hallelujah, God. Uh, oh, God, you mend it, God. Uh, we give it to you right now, God. Uh, lift up, bow down heads, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, God. Uh, Hallelujah. We ask you to restore joy. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, uh, restore joy. Hallelujah. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Uh, in the name of Jesus, God, uh, you have your way, God. Uh, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, uh, let your blood prevail. We call on you, God. Uh, the blood of Jesus, God. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. What can wash away our sins? Uh, nothing but the blood. The, the blood of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, we plead the blood today. We plead the blood today, God. Uh, the blood over our minds. Uh, the blood over our hearts. Uh, oh, God, wash us today, God. Uh, wash us today, God. Uh, cleanse us up, God. Uh, clean us up, God. Uh, don't let us leave out, God, uh, the way we came in, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you receive our worship today, God. Uh, oh, Oh God, we lay aside everything, hallelujah. Every thought, hallelujah. Every distracted spirit, hallelujah. We lay it down, God. We come to worship you, oh God. For you said in your word, God, they that worship you must worship you, hallelujah. And spirit and in truth, God. As we come to worship, God, we look to you, God. You are the healer. You are the deliverer, hallelujah. 
Oh God, pour out your wine. Pour out your oil and your wine. And heal every pain, God. Heal every hurt, God. Let your healing hand fall in this place today, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Heal, God, like you only can, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We call on you, Lord. We call on you, Lord. No other name but the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. You have your way, Jesus. Have your way, God. Oh, God, you are my healer. You are my deliverer. Oh, God, you are my protector. We thank you today, God. Oh, God, let your word go forth. Let your word go forth, God. Let your word, God, fall on good ground today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, we thank you. You have your way. God. You have your way, God. There is none like you. There is none like you. We give you all the glory. And we, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, I believe you can do better than that. Would you clap your hands and give God praise on today? Hallelujah. Anybody excited to be in the house of God? Hallelujah. Come on, I can't hear you. Anybody excited Hallelujah. to be in the house of God? Hallelujah. In his presence is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm ready. Hallelujah. God, we come to praise you. We come to honor you. Come on, clap your hands right here. Branches, he who abides in me right. will forever be fruitful indeed. I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one gets to the Father except that He comes through me. Come on, say right here. Let not mercy, Let not mercy and, truth and truth forsake you. Forsake you. Forsake you. Forsake. Let not mercy, Let not mercy and, truth and truth forsake you. Forsake you. Forsake you. Forsake you. Forsake. Say right Bye. 
Hallelujah. That's good news today. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I said that's good news for somebody today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we will believe and trust in the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. Bless him right there. Hallelujah. Your name is worthy. Your name is holy. Glory to God. Your name is above all names. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you in this room. Come on, worship. Hallelujah. You don't have to wait for me. Glory to God. But worship him for who he is to you. Thank you, Lord. Worship him for who he is to you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve praise. Worthy is your name. I'm going to say it again. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve praise. Worthy is your name. Come on, help me say it. Worthy is your name, Jesus. Jesus. You deserve. You deserve praise. Worthy is. Worthy is Come on, sing it again. Worthy. Jesus, you deserve, you deserve praise. Worthy Come on, catch it. That's the whole song. Worthy is, worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve, you deserve, deserve worthy is your name. Come on, sing the word. Just for a few more seconds. Be exalted now in the heavens as your glory fills this place. You alone deserve our praise. You're the name above all names. Be exalted now in the heavens as your glory fills this place. You alone deserve our praise. You're the name above all names. Be exalted. Glory fills this place. You alone, you alone deserve our praise. 
yeah. be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, she be exalted, exalted, be exalted, be exalted, surround us, yeah. surround us, surround us, surround us, surround us, surround us. Surround us, surround us, feel us, yeah. feel us, feel us, feel us, hey, feel us, 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 feel us. Feel us, feel us, restore 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 us. Somebody praise that name. Come on, somebody exalt that name all over this building. Come on, lift your hands in this building. Without the round on now. Sing unto him a new song. Come on, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come on, you can worship him. This is your time. You can worship him. This is your moment to offer your relationship unto him. Come on, one more time. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph and let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom God have redeemed from the hands of the enemy. God, we love you. God, we thank you. God, we render unto you praise in this house. Amen. If you are excited, about what the Lord is doing. Come on, somebody all over your building. Amen. Let's give him praise. Glory. I said glory. 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 It's in this house. Glory. It's in this atmosphere. Glory. It's on my road. Come on, somebody. You ought to go for God. With all that you have, God, we thank you. Thank you for loving us, Jesus. Thank you for covering us, Jesus. What about this one? Thank you for keeping us, Jesus. Come on, lean over on the neighbor and say, I just want to thank God for his keeping power. Got a question. Is there anybody amongst us that know what it's like to be kept by the Father. Come on, my God. Amen. We thank God Amen. for him being in this building, in this place. Amen. We take not our coming, amen, lightly. Amen. But we are thankful unto God that God have called us, amen, to this particular place at this particular time to render unto us, or grant unto us rather, a particular blessing. Look at somebody and tell them, I need something specific from the Lord. Amen. And if that's true and that's your declaration, you ought to give him a, a intentional worship. An intentional praise. Come on, shout to somebody on the other side of the room and say, this worship is intentional.
Amen. We love you. Definitely appreciate you. Thank you. Amen. For making this church your choice today. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. For Jesus Christ all over this building. Amen. He who hung, bled, and died. Amen. So that all of us can have a right to the tree of life. Amen. We're forever grateful. Amen. On an old rugged cross. Amen. On Calvary Hill. Amen. He paid a debt that he did not owe because you and I owed a debt that we could not pay. And we are forever grateful. Amen. For the blood of Jesus that's able to wash us, cleanse us, and purge us. Amen. Into that which is righteous. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For none other than the chief apostle, Apostle Paul L. Beard. Amen. Y'all can do better than that. You sound like Presbyterians today. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For the lovely elect lady, Dr. Donna Beard. Amen. We're so, amen, grateful for the roles of this ministry. Amen. Mom and Dad Beard, God bless you. Amen. They are in this house and they are coordinated. Do you hear me? Amen. They came to wear the devil out. Do you hear me? Amen. I can already tell. Amen. We thank God, amen, for my beautiful wife and her absence. Can you put your hands together? Amen. And for the lady, amen, Pastor Jessica Beard. Amen. Thank God for her. She will be ministering today. Amen. At Granny Antioch Baptist Church. Amen. What about the hills? Come on, can y'all do it for the hills? Amen. Pastor Prophet Jetrell Hill. Lady Quinetria Hill. I have to say it slow sometimes. That way I don't mess it up. Amen. Lady Quinetria Hill. My God. Amen. And the hills are in this building. Listen, won't you put your hand together for yourself? You made it. I said, this one is for you. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Also thank God, amen, for these host of musicians. Amen. That labor on a weekly basis. Amen. To make certain, amen, that the atmosphere is ready. Amen. Also thank God for Sumness and Minister Keisha Brown Cooley. Amen. Listen. Amen. I heard great things about the safe place on last night. My God. Amen. The Lord, I heard that the Lord God really moved in this place. Amen. So we thank God for her. Amen. And I just want to thank, amen, her and, amen, Bishop Cooley. Amen. Publicly thank them. Amen. You know, you can be seated. Amen. A lot of people, amen, I hear that I'm, they, they say you got a good preacher, a good pastor, and all of that is wonderful. Amen. But I thank God for them understanding my efforts, amen, to be an even greater husband, amen, and a greater father, amen. I refuse to save the world, amen, and then the household that I'm, uh, you know, the priest over is not properly balanced, amen. So I thank God for them understanding, amen, about me taking care of my first ministry, amen. Listen. I don't want to take care of your children and can't take care of mine. Do you hear me? Amen. I don't want to take care of God's house and leave my house neglected. Can I break it all the way down? I don't want to be a hero to the world, but a zero to my family. Amen. So it's my full intention to be here. Amen. But whisper to somebody and say, sometimes duty calls. Amen. So I thank God for them. Amen. At this time, come on, face your eyes on the screen for our announcements. Greetings. Hello, everyone. Welcome to DP Nation Pell. Greetings. I am Hello, Lady everyone. Beard. Welcome to of DP Apostle Nation Pell. I myself, am Lady and Jessica Beard. And on behalf of so Apostle Cordero Beard, Beard and today, myself, we hope that you're ready because something powerful uh, is about to happen for you. And whatever happens for you today, we pray that it overflows to everything that is connected to you. All we ask is please do not allow this to be your last time. You're wanted here, you're welcome here. And all we want you to do is come through Sundays at two. Things, amen, has been happening here at this church, amen, on Wednesday nights, amen, and I'm so grateful, 
Amen. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, have you been here uh, for group life? If you ain't been here, where you been? Come on, somebody. Come on in. The water's fine. Amen. Come on in. We thank God. Amen. For what God is doing here. I'm excited. Amen. How many seen me last Wednesday? My God. Listen, I've been in, I've been on the screen for the last few weeks. Do you hear me? Amen. Coming in. Amen. Doing my part. Amen. God's really doing some great things. I believe the early church, they thrived and they grew because they collaborated in groups. Amen. And we're taking that same model. Amen. And we are presenting unto this church and we're already seeing great results. Is that right? Amen. God bless you. Amen. I want to let you know that we have a backpack giveaway that will be taken. there in the foyer if you amen would patronize amen and donate to the box school supplies amen to help us in our efforts uh, to make sure that the children in this community and abroad has what they need in preparation amen for going back to school can we participate in that amen thank you lady here for putting your hands on it amen some of you should follow her amen and let us amen give to that effort all right volunteers are needed amen it's a great ministry to be able to take care amen of the affairs of the ministry so we have a cleaning committee uh, that we'll be putting together amen and we need your help in that effort as well amen so they need to see uh, who they need to see the deacon, amen, come on, put your hand together for Deacon Davin, amen, and Deaconess Levi, amen, see them, amen, if you want to be a part of that. Also, we want to make this uh, intentional, very intentional announcement, amen, if you, the children are going to the restroom, amen, don't let them turn it into a wild adventure, go with them, do you hear me? Amen. That's the way we can keep everything. Amen. And decency and help me say and in. Thank you. Amen. So let's do that. But having a few amen challenges in that area. But I believe with your help, amen, we've already overcome. Is that right? Amen. Listen, put your hands together. Amen. For offering time. Come on. You should have blew.
Amen. We appreciate you even now. Amen. Asking you to grab hands if you don't mind. Amen. God, I thank you for these your tithe payers that are participating. Amen. In the sacred, the sacred act of giving tithe. Lord, I thank you even now, Lord God, that you shall cause the windows of heaven to open up abundantly on their behalf. God, we're trusting in your word. And we know that you're going to do exactly what you said you're going to do. We thank you even now for rebuking the devourer for their sake. God, I thank you. Let everybody join in and say, I'm out of debt. All of my needs are met. And I got plenty more to put in store. God bless you. Amen. May the blessing of the Lord be over your family, your household, and your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on. I need y'all to make a thunderous applause in this house. Amen. Let the givers rejoice. Tyson, I gave them an opportunity, but they missed it. I'll try it again. Can I rewind? Let the givers rejoice. What am I rejoicing for? I'm rejoicing because I know I got a harvest coming. I said I'm rejoicing because I know I got a harvest coming. Come on, if you a seed sower, high five another seed sower and let them know that the harvest is on the way. Come on in here, I feel that anointing. Somebody shout, my harvest is coming. Amen. At this particular time, amen, I want everybody to stand up on your happy feet as I introduce the song and present to others. None other, amen, than our very own assistant pastor, pastor and prophet, John Trail here. You ought to clap your hands like you know victory is on the way. Amen. Let us receive him at this time. There are some things. Says I can't go, but I am sure of this one thing that God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. Can I say that one more time? There are some things. Sing it real in my soul. Yes, God is real, for He has washed and made me whole. His love for me, just like pure gold. Yes, God is real. God is real for 
up something left in this life. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, I told Satan to get me behind because victory today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy. Oh, shut up, come on, 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 come on
say, you ought to take it. You ought to take it back for us. You ought to take it back for us. You ought to take it back for us. You ought to take it. I feel the Holy Ghost. You ought to take it today. Take back your peace. Take back your joy. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. You want to take it back? Take it, take it, take it. Take it. We thank you even now. She got hit this atmosphere that's conducive for a miracle. We say, have your way, Lord. What you want to do? to tell somebody, you don't have to give. You may came, you may have came in the press, but you ain't got to leave the press. You may, you may have came in one way, but you ain't got to leave the same way you came. Somebody put those hands together all over this building. Come on, come on, come on, like you got the victory. I feel the presence of God in this life. Oh, for about 10 more seconds. You got 10 more seconds. I double dog dang it to make this praise personal. I double dog dang it to make these words personal. I feel the Holy Ghost. You got about 10 more seconds to get more. Give it up, give it up. Millions didn't make it. But you were one of the ones 
said be it. Come on, give God praise. And give God glory. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where? Somebody shout, where would I be? Romans chapter 12, verse number 2. Be reading from the NLT version. God changed my message. I was on the way to Hammond. I mean, not Hammond, Lord Wiggins. This morning, and the Lord changed my message. I'm going to be preaching for a few flighty moments. Somebody shout from a, a few flighty moments. They, not like us. They, not like us. That's what I'm going to be preaching. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I know it's incorrect grammar, but they, not like us. Amen. That's Amen. The word that the Lord stirred my heart with on today. Amen. It's so important to understand the times and the seasons we are living in. Amen. It's so important to understand the times and the seasons uh, that we are living in. Uh, this time that we're living in, hallelujah, go ahead and pass me the other one. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The times that we're living in. Amen. The times that we're living in. Amen. And even uh, the time that we're living in right now and even the time to come is darker. It's getting darker than any time that we've ever seen before. Uh, fact about it in the words of Jesus in the book of Luke he said uh, but as it was in the day of Noah so shall it be in the days of the son of man uh, he said uh, just as it was in the day of Sodom so shall it be in the days of the son of man I feel the Holy Ghost and, and if you understand what Jesus is saying right there amen those are two different dispensations of time the time of Noah and the time of Sodom and Gomorrah they were two different dispensations of time one had Noah in it amen and the other one amen had Abraham in it. the Bible amen we know the story of Noah it was the time where the Bible talks about that the world was so wicked that he decided to tell Noah to build an ark and he sent a, a flood because the Bible said that he in it at the fact that he even made man I the whole, look at your name and say that's a dark time that's a that's a dark time for God to repent uh, that he even made man I feel the Holy Ghost and then he turns around and not only does he say uh, that as it was in the day amen of, of Noah but then he turns around and say as it was in the day I feel the Holy Ghost of Sodom and Gomorrah and we know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah when God wanted to destroy are uh, the place, uh, the dwelling place where Lot lived, the nephew of Abraham. But it was so dark, Abraham said, if you can find just a few people feel the Holy Ghost uh, that's living right after you. If you can find uh, just a few people uh, that'll do your will. He was begging God, please don't destroy it. Uh, and God began to search uh, and he never could find anybody. I feel the Holy Ghost uh, because they were living like they wanted to live. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, the love for God had waxed cold. I feel God. Uh, and so here now uh, Jesus is saying in the book of Luke, uh, he said this is this time huh, is going to be so dark huh, until it's going to bring two different times huh, together. I feel the Holy Ghost. I see uh, y'all following me. I feel the Holy Ghost. Huh. And so the time that we're living in, huh, we haven't even begun to see. Huh. I feel the Holy Ghost. If you listen to the prophets, huh, the real prophets, I'm telling you, huh, this is a time that we have huh, never seen before. Huh, and 
it's just a greater time for you to make sure that you're connected to a prophetic voice. I feel the Holy Ghost to take the time to be church hopping, but this is the time I feel the Holy Ghost when you got to make sure that your election is sure, when you got to make sure that you're in the right place and in the right place posture for the poor I feel the Holy Ghost the Bible said he that have an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying to the churches so now is high time I can't sugarcoat it I feel the Holy Ghost but it's about to get darker I feel the Holy Ghost I feel God and we got to be in the right place as believers we have to be in position as believers I feel the Holy Ghost we don't do what the world do I feel the Holy Ghost we don't panic like the world panic I feel God why because they not like us I feel God I feel God this day and age should not catch us off guard but we should be in the posture of prayer we should be in the posture of service I feel the Holy Ghost because there's a time coming there's a day coming with no man working I feel the Holy Ghost. So now it's high time to make sure that you're in the right place and in the right position. I feel the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, I feel the Holy Ghost. He said, ah, as it was in the day of Noah, as it was in the day of Sodom, I feel the Holy Ghost. So shall it be. Because he said, in that same place, in that place of darkness, in that place of hopelessness, he said that it's going to be in that place that the Son of Man shall be revealed. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel we're looking for Christ. We're looking for the glory. Huh? Look at your neighbor and say, you got to embrace the darkness. Huh? I feel, I know that sounds weird. Huh? I feel the Holy Ghost, huh? but I'm here to tell you huh? that darkness is only an opportunity huh? for the light to shine. Huh? I feel darkness only exists huh? because there's no light. Huh? I feel the Holy Ghost, huh? but darkness, I feel this is how the believers believe. Huh? We don't panic. I feel God, huh? but we have an understanding standing huh, that darkness only exists huh, because there is no light. Huh. We see darkness. I feel the Holy Ghost huh, not as a time to panic huh, but we see darkness huh, as an opportunity for the light to shine. Huh. I wish I had somebody to shout glory in this place. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, uh, it's dark, it's dark. Uh, uh, but while the world is filled with despair, uh, while the world is filled with anxiety, uh, while the world is filled with fear uh, and panic, I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, our response, look at your neighbor and say, our response. Uh, our response must be different. Uh, our response must be different. Why? Because they not like us. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. I feel the Holy Ghost. Romans chapter 12, verse number 2. I'm almost have to do. Romans chapter 12, verse number 2. I'm reading from the NLT version. It said, don't copy the behavior and the customs of the world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. I feel the Holy Ghost. Then you will learn to know God's will for your life, which is good and pleasing and perfect. The important thing is that you don't need to copy the behavior and the customs of the world. I feel, I feel God. Some of us have begun, amen, to conform to the ways of the world. I feel God. Some of us have left our watchtowers in order to address the darkness. Some of us didn't left the truth just to gossip and be a part of the conversation of, hopeless, of hopelessness of where we are in at the present moment. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Our response must be different. Somebody asked me why our response must be different. Because they not like us. The Bible says we are in the world, but not of 
while the world, while the world is in panic, while the world is in turmoil, we ought to have some watchmen that's on the watchtowers. We ought to have some intercessors that are praying, my God. We ought to have the preachers still preaching the gospel and not the political beliefs. I feel God. We ought to have somebody that's holding up the blood stain banner. We ought to have somebody that say, for God I live and for God I die. Is there any love among this church that say, God, for you I live. I'm a living epistle. Do what you want me to do. Is there anybody left in this church that say, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, true and true. Is there anybody left in this church that I feel the Holy Ghost, that I stand on holiness, that I stand on the word of God, that I stand on the premise of God? Is there anybody left in this church? He must show you another home. Look at your neighbor and say, our response must be different uh, because they not like us. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Turn with me to Revelations chapter 2. And I'm getting ready to get out of here. I feel the Holy Ghost. Turn with me to Revelations chapter 2. I just came tell you what thus said the Lord and I'm going to get out of here. I feel the presence of God. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 2 verse 1 through 7 the Bible said write this letter to the angel of the church of Ephesus. This is the message from the one who holds the seven stars. Ah, uh, in this right hand, the one who walks among the seven gold lampstands. Uh, verse 2 says, I know all the things you do. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. I have seen your hard working, your patient endurance. I know you don't tolerate evil people. My God. And you have examined the claims of those who say they are apostles, uh, but they are not. Uh, you have discovered that they are liars. Uh, this is Jesus. He's talking uh, to the church of Ephesus and he's saying, I, I see all the things that you are doing and all the hard work and I feel the Holy Ghost that you're hanging on. Uh, uh, the Bible says that I see uh, that you have the gift of discernment and you know who is real and who is not. One thing about this church, come on, we know who got the power and don't have the power. Uh, verse Verse 3 says, and you have patiently suffered uh, for me without quitting. Uh, in other words, he said, I, I've seen that you've been through some stuff uh, uh, that should have took other folk out. I've seen, uh, I feel the Holy Ghost that you've been through some stuff uh, that should have destroyed you. I've seen uh, that you've been through some stuff that I feel the Holy Ghost uh, that took some other folk mind, but you didn't quit. Look at your neighbor and say, you didn't quit my God verse 4 I'm going to read verse 4 and verse 5 and 6 and 7 together it says I feel the Holy Ghost but 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 that means forget everything that's before it and here is the meat I, I've seen all of the good stuff but I have this complaint against you but you don't love me I feel the Holy Ghost like you used to he says or each other as you did at first uh, verse 5 says look how far you have fallen my God look how far you falling Ah, uh, because you're like the world and you ain't like me. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, oh, somebody's putting up. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, somebody smell what I'm cooking in the kitchen. My God. Uh, he said, look how far uh, you have fallen. Uh, he said, turn back to me uh, and do the works you did at first. Uh, he said, if you don't repent, I will come uh, and remove your lampstand uh, from its place among the church. Uh, verse 6 says but this is in your favor uh, you hate the evil deed 
needs of the Nicolaitans uh, just as I do. Uh, here it is, verse 7. He said, anyone uh, with ears to hear must listen uh, to the Spirit uh, and understand what he is saying uh, to the churches. It's that to everyone uh, who is victorious in this, uh, I will give the fruit from the tree of life uh, in the paradise of God. Uh, what is he saying? I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, Oh, he said, uh, uh, in spite of all of the works uh, that Ephesians was doing, uh, in spite of all the good things uh, that they thought they were doing, uh, one version said, he said, nevertheless, uh, I got something against you. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, a lot of churches are working. Uh, they are working huh? and everything looks good from the outside huh? but one thing we got to have an understanding is huh? is Jesus can see past all of our works huh? I feel the Holy Ghost huh? so despite of all of the works huh? that the church in Ephesus was doing huh? I feel the Holy Ghost huh? Jesus said I got this one thing huh? but I feel the Holy Ghost huh? that if you're not careful going to cause you to miss God huh? I, and I feel uh, in my spirit uh, even the very elect the Bible said how the very elect uh, some of the very elect is going to miss God uh, I feel the Holy Ghost uh, I don't know about you but I don't want to miss God uh, on, on a small technicality uh, I want to make sure that I'm right before him. Uh, I want to make sure that my heart is right uh, I want to make sure that my mind is right uh, I want to make sure that my conversation uh, is right I want to make sure that I'm treating my neighbor right. I don't care about the manifestations and how well I can preach. It's how well do I live my life Monday through Friday, Monday to Sunday through Saturday. How well do I treat my co-workers? How well do I treat my neighbors? And some of us are going to go to hell off a technicality because you got the gift because you're booked and busy but your character I feel God but your character is set up and I feel God and we got to have an ear to see what the spirit is saying to the church uh, he says uh, uh, despite all of your works, despite you being booked and busy, uh, despite you being on every flyer in this season, uh, he said, I got, I got something against you. Uh, and he said, if you're not careful, you're going to miss the fruit. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, what was apostle preaching last week? Uh, I feel fruit over fame. Uh, he said, if you're not careful, uh, you're going to miss this fruit. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, he said, I got this all against you. Uh, Ah, uh, you don't love me or each other as you once did. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, Jesus said you don't love me uh, because if the church really loved me, uh, instead of rejoicing over a, an assassination attempt, uh, the real church would have went to prayer. Uh, I oh, I don't got too many amens uh, in this place, but it's Bible. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, I told you God changed my message. Uh, I was going to preach about fly on the wall. God said uh uh. I feel the Holy Ghost. I need you to tell the church that there should be a difference between the church and the world. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's the world that posts on Facebook. I feel the Holy Ghost. Our position should be prayer before posting. But we'll post and go to praying later. I feel the Holy Ghost. Why is the Lord's church in this season and, uh, and in this time, uh, I feel the Holy Ghost uh, rejoicing uh, over an assassination tip. Uh, when the Bible would declare for you to pray for those uh, that have rule over you, uh, it's not biblical, it's not biblical, it's not biblical. Uh, I came to tell somebody uh, that our response uh, must be different. Uh, why? Because they are not like us. Uh, why they're posting, uh, we should be praying. I feel the Holy Ghost while they're panicking. We should be praying for the Bible says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray 
and turn from their wicked ways. Our response must be different. Because they not like us. Uh, he said, you got to go back to your first works. Uh, we got to get back to a posture of prayer. Uh, I'm almost out of here. Uh, I know y'all ready to go to go to y'all ready to hear Pastor Jay uh, and go to go to come around. I'm almost finished. Uh, I just came with a Sunday school lesson uh, to tell you to beware in this season uh, of acting like the world. You've got to beware in this season. Our posture should be prayer. I feel the Holy Ghost because when we pray, I feel the Holy Ghost. Something shifts. The Bible says when the righteous travail, I feel the Holy Ghost. Something happens when the righteous travail. I feel the Holy Ghost instead of posting on Facebook. We should be praying. We should be on our knees. Why are the intercessors that's praying? I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we don't panic. We don't panic. We pray. I feel the Holy Ghost. We don't panic. I feel the Holy Ghost. Fact about it is ain't no panic bone in my body. I feel the Holy Ghost because I know I have the power of prayer. I feel for the Bible says don't worry about anything but pray about everything and the peace of God. I feel the Holy Ghost. That's what God want to give us in. He want to give us in a place of peace. But the only I feel the Holy Ghost. But the only way you can get there is you got to get back in the posture where your focus is on him and not on the trials, not on the opposition. You got to get your focus back on him. I feel the Holy Ghost for the Bible would declare if you keep your mind on him that he will keep you in perfect peace. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor, neighbor. Your response got to be different. Why? Because they not like us. Your response got to be different because they're not like us. We have to get back to our first words. Pray. I feel the Holy Ghost. If you heard Founders Week, that's what they was talking about, getting back into the posture of praying. I feel the Holy Ghost. You got to get in prayer. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, the old folk used to say, prayer is the key and your faith unlocks the door. My God, I'm almost finished. The second works. Uh, uh, but Lord said, we got to get back into a place of compassion. I feel the Holy Ghost over condemnation. It's the world that condemns. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's the world that sees people. I feel the Holy Ghost for just where they are. I feel the Holy Ghost. But how many know that the Bible would declare that there's therefore not no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus? We got to start seeing people with the eyes of Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost. That's the only way we're going to get our love back. Back. I feel the Holy Ghost. That's the only way we're going to begin to pray for those that are lost. That's the only way we're going to get to pray for those that despitefully use us. We got to get back. Not only do we got to get back in prayer, but we got to get our compassion back over condemnation. When I think about condemnation, I think about Lazarus, how they condemned him to death. They came to Jesus and they told him, why did you come? I feel the Holy Ghost when he was just sick. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's too late for him now. And that's how some of us think about our neighbors. That it's too late for you now. Some of us have given up on people that God called to be our assignment. And you about to miss heaven because you think 
you got it on together. I feel the Holy Ghost, but you're really operating in the spirit of condemnation. I feel God. They asked Jesus, why didn't you come a little earlier? It's too late now. He's dead. We've already buried him. But how many know that despite of what situation you in, if you got to reach way down, Jesus is able to pick you up. I feel the Holy Ghost. If you got to reach way down, how many of you found Jesus in a dark place? How many of you found Jesus in the bottom of your wine bottle? How many of you found Jesus when you was high as a kite? I feel the Holy Ghost. Sometimes, sometimes, I feel like preaching ready. My God from Zion. Sometimes you'll find Jesus in your dark place because when it seems impossible, it's just the right situation for Christ to step in. Look at your neighbor and say, when the world has lost hope, that's the right time for Jesus to step in. I feel God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, they not like us. So I think about Lazarus and how they condemned him. They condemned him to death. They thought it was over and they condemned him to death. But Jesus had compassion. He had so much compassion that the Bible said that Jesus began to weep. I feel the Holy Ghost. And while the world came up on him, while the world came up on him, and some of the church did too, it was his family that put him in the tomb. I feel the Holy Ghost. Jesus filled with compassion. He began to speak to Lazarus. He began to speak to the dead thing and say, Lazarus, I know these people gave up on you. I know the world gave up on you. But Lazarus, oh, Lazarus, 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 oh, Lazarus, It's time for the church to get your brother up, to get your sister up, get your mouth of your brother, get your mouth of your sister, stop beating them down and give them a hand up, say yes, 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 yes. your neighbor and say we got to get back in prayer and we got to get our compassion back because in that we understand the love of God but the Bible would declare what you've done to the least ones you've done to me also we got to get our love back our real love back for Christ I feel the Holy Ghost we got to get our love back for one another how do we get it? We get it through prayer and compassion. I feel the Holy Ghost not posting and exposing, but prayer and compassion. I feel the Holy Ghost because the truth of the matter is somebody prayed for you. Somebody had compassion when you was ugly, when you was no good, when I feel the Holy Ghost when you weren't even faithful to yourself, when you didn't even love yourself. Somebody pray for you. Somebody pray you out of your depression. Somebody pray you out of your sickness. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray for you. Somebody pray compassion and put you up out of your pit. Say yes. I feel the Holy Ghost in the 
You got power, 
but I came to tell somebody, not only do you have power, but you got angels. But the Bible says that the angels of the Lord in Kemper round about the earth that fear him. I came to tell the church, we don't respond how the world responds because they they not like us. They not like us. We have the power to shift atmospheres, to shift regions. We have the power to break down suicide. We have the power to change the crime rate. We have the power to break down poverty. We have the power to slap your name and say, no. You got the power. You got the power. You got the power. Look at your name and say activate. It's time for you to activate your power. You've been in love about too long. It's time for you to activate your power. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's time for you to be different. You've been dumbing yourself down. Trying to fit in the world. When God cannot fill the Holy Ghost. When God has elevated you. When God has changed your circle. He's been trying to change your circle. And I've been somebody Kool-Aid right now. He's been trying to shift your circle. But you've been trying to hold on. You've been trying to hold on. And I came to tell somebody. It's time for you to let go. Come with me. Let go. Because they not like you. They not God. Where God is taking you. You got to let go. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. like us. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's time for us to start back influencing the world instead of allowing the world to influence the church. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's time for us to start influencing the world. It's time for us to take back territories, take back regions. I feel the Holy Ghost. And how do we do it? We do it through prayer. We do it through compassion. But the Bible would declare love and kindness can my drone be. You do it through prayer. I feel the Holy Ghost. But the weapons of our warfare are not corner, but fighting through God. To the pull it down. To the pull it down. To the pull it down. I got somebody to pull it down. Pull down that man's stronghold. Pull down that man's stronghold. That stronghold that's been your stumbling block. I double dog down you to use your power. To use your authority. To pull it down. Pull it down. I feel power. Somebody shout yeah. Altars are open. I feel a power move and I gotta get out of the way. But I'm opening up this altar. If you need a move of God, if you need activation, I double dog down you to come to this altar. I feel the presence of God. I'm not gonna force nobody, but I double dog down somebody as I go before the throne of grace. I double dog down you. To take a dip in this water. I feel the Holy Ghost. Some of you see this altar, but I see water. I see fire. I double down there, somebody to come and take a dip in this fire. I got to pray. I got to pray. I got to pray. I feel a strong prayer in my spirit. I 
feel a strong part in my spirit. And I gotta get out of here because greater is waiting on us. Greater is waiting on us. I feel the Holy Ghost. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you now, Lord. We come before you as humble as we know how. I feel the Holy Ghost. We decree and declare in this moment that this is a house of prayer. We decree and declare in this moment that we're in one place, one place, or one accord. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we ask you now, God, that you will fall in this place like never before, God. Do what you want to do in this place. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. We call on the intercessors to intercede in this hour because you said that our response must be different, God. We call on you now, God. We call on you now, Jesus. We call on you, Jesus. We call on you, Jesus. Without you, we can't do nothing. We call on you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We call on you, 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 King of Kings. We call on you, Lord of Lords. We call on Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Sikandu. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Adonai. We call on you, Emmanuel. We call on you in this moment. We call on you, Father. We stretch our hands. We stretch our hands to you, Lord. No other, no other help we know. If you withdraw yourself from us, God, what other help? What other? What other? What other help we know, God? We call on you today, God. We in a sea. We in a sea. We in a sea, God. On behalf of the nation, God. We in a sea, God. On behalf of the community today, God. We in a sea, God. On behalf of the state, God. We in a sea, God. On behalf of our leaders, God. We in a sea, God. On behalf of the church, God. We call you back, God. Into our hearts, God. We can't do it. Without you, Jesus, we can't do it. Without you, Jesus, God, we repent for moving in our Lord. We repent for not having love for you, God. Not having love for your people, God. We commit ourselves, God, back to the pastor of prayer, God. We commit ourselves, God, back to being the oracles, God. We the prophets, God. We call the prophets back to the watchtowers, God. We call the prophets, God, on the Facebook, God, back to the watchtowers, God. We call the priests back to the holies of holies. We call the praise and worship leaders back to the holies of holies, God. We come back to you, Jesus. 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 We put up the titles now, God. We put up the titles now. We lay up the gifts now, Jesus. We lay up down today, Lord. And we say, have, have your way, Jesus. Heal this land, Lord. Heal this land. Heal this land, Jesus. Turn. The hearts of your people, God, back to you, God. We pour down every stronghold, every feet that will exalt itself above the knowledge of you, Lord. We pull it down right now in the name of Jesus. Depression has to go right now. Sickness has to go right now. After the Holy Ghost, my parlor. It's got to go right now. Poverty, it's got to go right now. I 
the Holy Ghost. Lust has got to go right now. Jealousy has got to go right now. Envy has got to go right now, Lord. It's got to go. We pour down every religious spirit. Everything that I feel, God. I speak to the east winds, God. I speak to the west winds, God. I speak to the north winds, God. I speak to the south winds, God. I break down, God. The children are five. The children are by my dedication. The children are by my faithfulness, God. I feel the Holy Ghost. I prophesy, Lord, to these dry bones. And I command these dry bones to live. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Ah, something's breaking. Something's loosing. Somebody ought to go behind the veil. You ought to become a dignified. In this moment, I feel the Holy Ghost. Some of you need to be on this altar and you still haven't moved. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel God. I feel your presence, Jesus. Yes! Yes, God! 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 Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Move by your presence! Move by your power! Move by your presence! Move by your power! We say yes, Lord! Yes to your will! Yes to your way, Jesus! Yes to your will! Yes to your way! Our respects have to be different because they not like us! They not like us! They not like us! They not like us! a sweet spirit in this place. And it is so and so it is Jesus. We got to get back into position in church. The Bible says he that have an ear let us hear what the spirit is saying to the church. and we have to get back into posture because there's coming a time the Bible said there's a man that came to Jesus and they was trying to wonder why these are your disciples Jesus but they can't cast this spirit out they was trying to figure out why couldn't they cast the spirit out Jesus said, because these kind come by fasting and praying. You got to be in the posture now. Because any day now, you ain't going to have time to call Apostle Codero. You're not going to have time to call Pastor Jessica Beer. You're going to have to do it. I didn't get finished with my message. But that was the last part of it. It's on you. It's on you. Some of you are wondering where the next revival is coming from. It's coming out of you. I can't be at your job. Y'all ain't standing to me. I can't be in your house. Y'all ain't standing to me. Come on, but the same power and the anointing that's resting. I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. The same anointing that's resting upon this altar. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's in you. 
But you have to decide whether you're going to be like the world or whether you're going to step over into your godly identity. Because some of us have settled for the flesh realm, the soulish realm. Am I saying that right, Apostle? The soulish realm. Some of us have settled. Instead of walking in the spirit, I told you, I could have I could have kept going, my God. Instead of walking in the spirit, some of us have settled for the flesh realm. And you're wondering why you're losing authority, why you're losing power. It's because you have settled. Look at your neighbor and say, you can't afford to settle in this, in this time, in this season. You got to walk in the spirit. I'm getting out of here. Come on, clap those hands all over this place. Come on, let's get ready for the spirit of giving. Father, we thank you now for the word that you have spoken.